member of the House Judiciary Intellectual Property Subcommittee, and in fact, my congressperson and the congressperson for this district, Congressman Jerry Nadler. Thank you very much, Blake. It's a pleasure to be here, and I want to congratulate you for starting this uh, campaign. It's an important campaign. You know, I'm a very liberal Democrat, but whether you're a liberal Democrat, conservative Republican, or anything in between, it's generally conceded that we live in a capitalist economy, in a capitalist society. Whether we should or not is another question, but we live in a capitalist society. In a capitalist society, it's generally taken for granted that you get paid for your work. It's generally taken for granted that if I create a product and sell it to you, whether that product is, an, is a 3D uh, printer, or a song, as a writer, or a performance, I should get paid for it. The only place I know, the only area I know where that is controversial, is terrestrial radio where some people say, you shouldn't get paid as a performer. The, the songwriter should get paid, not enough, but you should get paid. But you shouldn't get paid, because after all, your compensation is the promotion. Who says so? I do. Not you. Normally, in a capitalist society, if you want to sell a product, maybe there's haggling about what the price should be, but you don't sell it unless you get paid what you agree to get paid. Except here. This is the only exception I know. Where someone takes the arrogant attitude that I determine what you should get for your product. Your product being your performance. And I have determined that you, what you should get, in fact, is nothing except that I say you're getting promo uh, promotion and, and opportunity. And in some cases that's true, in a lot of cases it isn't true. So that's just wrong. It's just wrong. And so, and so that's why we have legislation to say that even in terrestrial radio, I don't know why we have to say even in terrestrial radio as if it's different than everything else, but even in terrestrial radio, you're entitled to get paid as a performer. And, and every time your song is performed, you're entitled to a residual, like the songwriter, like anything else, like the book author, like anything else. It's not a radical concept. It's only radical as applied to here because we're in the habit of not doing it. Things are radical if you're not doing them, if it's new. <laughs> but this is not new, or it shouldn't be new. This is the normal way of doing business. It's the only equitable way of doing business. Now, we don't all think that straight negotiation of price is the always the equitable way of doing business. We think there ought to be a minimum wage. Some of us do at least. That's controversial these days. And from the 1920s till now, it wasn't controversial, but it's controversial now. Some of us think there ought to be a minimum wage. Some, some of us think government ought to regulate prices and so forth. But basically, it's got to be a willing buyer, a willing seller, and not a diktat that you give away your services for nothing. So that should apply to, to, to performers as well as anybody else. And that's why I'm very glad to be involved in this legislation and sponsoring it. And I'm very glad that uh, uh, Blake has organized this campaign because this is one of a number of artist equity issues. The price, uh, performance rights, various other artist equity issues. But this is the key, the, probably the most elementary and obvious one. We gotta do it, we will do it. It takes a little time, but hopefully we will do it. And I thank all of you for your support and your presence here today. Congressman Jerry Nadler.